Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to create our very first quest based on our quest base class. You're going to be able to track a goal for killing slimes. It will also create another, another monster to track, maybe like a vampire or something uh, that you can track with a goal. All the quest itself is, there's not really much logic happening. All it is is a way to create different types of goals. It will also define a name, a description, and a reward item, that kind of thing. But there's not any logic in my type of quest. They're just going to be step-by-step -step goals, right? So to do that, I'm going to go to quests. I'm going to create a new script file here. And I'm going to call it Ultimate Slayer. Open that up in Visual Studio. And this is going to inherit from quest. Okay, so now what I want to do is we're going to use start for this. And in start, we're going to initialize our values for our quest. Uh, the first one being maybe the name. So we'll have quest name is equal to, and I want to call it uh, Ultimate Slayer or Ultimate Slayer, something like that, right? You got to say it like that when you say it. And then the description is going to be um, we'll kill a bunch of stuff less cool than the name. And then we're going to have, let's see, quest name, description. Let's have an item that we can reward the player for completing the quest. Item reward is equal to, and now we'll go through the item database and pick out an item. Since we only have one item, go through item database dot instance uh, dot, uh, what is it called? Get item. And we can pass it a string name. And for completing this, you're going to get a uh, log potion. What is it called? Potion log. Potion log. Just like that. If we look at quest, and there's also an experience reward option here, but I don't have that functionality in my game yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. And what I also want to do in start is we're going to add the goals to the quest, right? So we have a custom quest, and this quest needs goals. It needs a list of goals. So we already have the goals list, and all I have to do for this, which is pretty cool, is since we already initialized the list, I could just say add. And I want to add to it goals. So now I have to decide what kind of goal I want. Currently, we only, we only have kill goal, right? We don't have collection goal or anything like that. So I'm just going to do new kill goal. And the reason this works is because goals is a list of goals, right? Just the goal type. And kill goal is a goal type. It's just a derived version of goal. So now I want to pass it an enemy ID. We're going to track the slime, so zero. We want a description, uh, kill five slimes. We want the... That's false. And then the current amount is zero. If you have like a save file, you could use this to load in the initial values for it. But uh, zero and then required amount is five. So now we have a quest pretty much, right? We have a uh, ultimate slayer quest that has a goal on it. Pretty cool. And then I want to have a way to actually start the event listener for this goal, right? We added it as a new kill goal to... Hmm. Thinking about this, we could just do this in the constructor. I know I said from the beginning that I wanted a separate initializer from the constructor. But it's not that big of a deal to start a listener in the constructor. But we want. You can do that if you want to. But I'm just going to keep it separate. So Ultimate Slayer, what I'm then going to do is once we add all our goals, we'll have more goals than that in the end. But I want to go through goals. And we're going to loop through each item in that collection. So go through for each on that. And for each one, what I want to do is I want to call it G again. Same lambda expression we had before. G dot. And I want to say in it. So all this does is it goes through each goal in this collection. And it runs the initialize method on it. This would be the same as if you made a for loop and then you went through each one. Say goals, I, uh, then called the initialize method. But it's a very simple way to do that in a single statement just like that. So now for each goal that we add to the list, we're going to run the initialized method on it. So if I were to say goals.add, add a new kill goal here, or a new collection goal if you have one, uh, we're going to look for item ID or enemy ID of one. It's going to be called kill two vampires. It was not completed. You start out at zero and need to kill two. So now I have two kill goals on my ultimate Slayer quest. Pretty cool. And just to round this off, I'm going to give it an experience reward just so we have that filled in. So we can use it later on if we do add the ability to grant experience. And this is pretty much all we're going to have for this quest. 
Now you can add some fun, uh, some uh, fancy things in here if you wanted to. You know, you could actually add more functionality to your quest. But all of my quests are going to be are just lists of goals. So you could probably simplify this with a collection of quests that each is just a collection of goals. But I like to have it separated like this, and that way I can just add each one individually as a component to a quest log of some sort that we can then use to track quests in our game. Pretty cool. So that's going to be it for this episode. In the next one, we're going to continue this questing system. I don't know what the next part is, or I would say that. Any questions, go to forum.gogamegrind.com, patreon.com slash gamegrind to get stuff for money. Mm -hmm. My name is Austin, and I will see you next time. Thank you.